Hey guys, it's Gavinelli. I'm back. Uh, check this out. I know I said, uh, you know, I wasn't going to buy another case, but uh, I had to do it. I, I got tired of looking at this case. Um, this case is pretty ugly. So, I mean, look at it. I mean, let's just zoom in. Look at that. I, you know, maybe I need to turn it around. Look at that, showroom floor. All right, now, I don't know, some of you guys might be like, yeah, that's a pretty damn ugly case. And some of you might be like, well, I can't see what's wrong with it, you know? But let me show you, this is what I had to do. This was the reaction of what I had to do. I would cover my eyes and this is the reaction I would get. Damn! Damn! Oh my God! Damn! So, I went and got a new case. Now check this out. Uh, I've been sitting on this case for about a few days now because I'm always recording. Plus I got other stuff I need to do in my house. But my wife was like, you still haven't opened that case? I'm like, nah, nah. I'm not going to open it until I'm ready to record. So, damn! All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this down and I'm going to open the box for you guys. How's that for cinema magic? Okay, that's what I went with. The famous knife that unboxed the Roku. All right. You'll like it even more if you pull it out the box. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's just tear into this thing. Ah, ah it looks so much better, right? All right, here we go. Hmm, it's so black. Check out the glossy finish. All right. Now, the guy told me right here, this is a light. And it's a bright blue light. All right, quick update. This is my NVIDIA card. And this is my Radeon card. This one is new. I bought, I bought this one like, what, two years ago? And I'll 
bought this one like what a few days ago all right this one has a uh, 512 megabytes of DDR memory onboard memory and this is uh, DDR2 512 megabytes of onboard memory now so far the big issue I've realized is when I plug up a DVI connection to this thing picks up when I plug up a DVI connection to this one it doesn't pick up but VGA and HDMI works so I cover this already both of these cards are made the same so therefore off the top off the break I'm going with this one this is my baby alright you see the names now they also make as, the, as you see it says uh, silent that means there's no fan just a heat sink this one has a fan they also make a silent version of this which is no fan it has this now also this fan can be loud over time so just want to put that out there I got some news discover something about these uh, video cards um, I learned that when I have the uh, the Radeon card inside of my Hackintosh, the DVD player won't work, or I can't watch movies. But when I put the NVIDIA card in, the DVD player works. So I'm going to show you. As you see, I got the EN210 inside here. All right, now I'm going to show you what happens when I try to play a movie. Okay. See that? The movie plays. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Radeon card back in. All right. Now we have the uh the Radeon 6450 in there. All right. And let me show you what happens when I go to uh to launch the DVD player. You see that? I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna ignore it. See that? Try to reopen it. Look at that. That's a damn shame. Clearly the winner. The EN210. The loser. The Radeon 6450. Now. Now you understand why I always stick with NVIDIA cards. Hey, it's still a personal preference of mine. So, anybody can say, well, Gavinelli, you know, we're talking about a $50 ATI card. I mean, clearly if you would have spent more money on a, on a higher-end card, you wouldn't have those problems. Well, I just compared two of the same specs, uh, two cards with the same specs. Uh, one was an ATI, one was an NVIDIA. Both of them um, carry the Asus, the Asus name. Um, I don't get it. I mean, what's, what other reason? What other reason could it be? I mean, you can't blame price on that. They both had 512 megs of uh, onboard RAM. Uh, the ATI was DDR3, and the Nvidia was DDR2. So, I mean, again, I'm not bashing ATI. Or AMD. I'm just clearly stating, you know, hey, these are the reasons of why I stick with NVIDIA. So, I guess if you're going to build a Hackintosh and you just go, hey, I want to get some of those parts like Gavinelli, you, you know what to stay away from. So, anyway, that's it. We're about to finish off this video. Hey guys, got a little update. This card right here. 
Remember, I bought this for my new Hackintosh, for my i5 Hackintosh. Well, the card works, but after like maybe 45 seconds to a minute or two, it kernel panic. And uh, there's no way around it, at least right now. I was running this card on Lion, and I ran the card on Mountain Lion, Colonel Panic. And the reason is because it's on an i5. So, what can we do? We can stick it on a machine other than an i5, like a quad core, maybe even a dual Celeron. But right now, that's not what this video is about. The video is all about the i5 Hackintosh. So, this is what I did for you guys. Get the hell out of here. I bought this. And it works. Yeah. Take a good look at that model number so you can go out and get it. Alright. It is a PCI Express adapter. Well, I'm sure you can read that. But, uh, take a good look at the box. Model number. Go out and get it. I plugged it up. I went and got the Kex. We good to go. No kernel panics. Nice and smooth. Uh, 150 megabits per second. Can I see a difference? I don't know. I got to keep working. So, you'll see the you'll see the whole computer when I'm finished. I just want to give you guys an update.